What's up, peeps? It's your girl, Queen L Eats. Woo, woo, woo. And this is Tweezy Flex. And today we're eating beer battered fish sandwiches from Har Arby's. I said Harvey's. Arby's. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, taste for Hardee's. I, I was thinking about Hardee's. <laughs> I really was thinking about Hardee's. But yes, I love me some Arby's and I love their fries. So, yes, yes their fries are off the chain. Let's say our prayer and get it in. Heavenly Father, bless over this food for the nourishment of our bodies. Let it give us health, strength, and knowledge in everything you will have of us. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Let me take mine off of the box. Put it right here so you can see it. My fries right here so you can see them. Whoa. I'm going to knock it over. All right. They gave us some different sauces. They gave us. A little horsey sauce, <laughs> horsey sauce, and they gave us Arby sauce. Hmm. I wonder which one am I going to try. I've never tried the horsey sauce. So is that what, like, a horseradish? I think so, yeah. I've never tried horseradish. I wonder what horseradish tastes like. Is it kind of like a pickled taste or something? Uh... It's been a long time since I ate horseradish. Let me look and see remember. how it tastes. Let me look and see how it looks. Let me just, oh, it's, I'm just gonna, I'm only gonna put a little bit on mine. Just a, just a little bit, just to try it. I would hate to mess up the sandwich if I don't like it. Let's see how this is gonna be. See what this is about to be like. <laughs> nasty it's like a little tangy taste uh, yeah i mean it's a little tang to it a little tingy tang it ain't nasty though i actually like it oh i'm running out of ketchup <laughs> well squirt 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 All right, let me see what the Arby sauce is. Arby sauce is good. Is it? I've never tried it. I'm going to put a little bit on that. This is the color of it. It's red. Let me try a little bit. Y'all ain't going to put no lot. I know y'all probably like, put some sauce on that thing, girl. Yeah, but when you spend $10 on a meal, you don't want to mess it up. You know what I mean? <laughs> you don't want to mess it up. You want to enjoy it. Mm. It's okay too. Okay. I see why they um do those different sauces. They good. I can't even say what it reminds me of because I don't know. <laughs> Y'all, these Arby fries are off the chain. You know what I mean? We get them all the time in the frozen section at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. We throw them bad boys in the air fryer about 12 minutes. I'm 400. And tear them up. Tear them up. Get them kids some little nuggets. The um hundred percent where ain't it hundred percent chicken mm -hmm. the hundred percent chicken breast nuggets throw them some of these Arby fries and them nuggets in the air fryer. <laughs> mm -hmm. The horsey sauce. Most people use that coming up on the uh, roast beef sandwich. Oh okay. Mm -hmm. I'm telling y'all, Arby's be hitting when it comes to fish sandwiches. I like that roast beef sandwich too. What else I begin? The sliders. I like the For sliders. The I get the kids the sliders. What else I begin for Arby's? 
Milkshake's good. Milkshake's good. They got a new orange cream milkshake. It's good. I get a little snack size just so I can just get a little bit of milkshake. <laughs> um, Leah get the Italian sub every time. She loves the Italian sub. So we like her Arby's. Mm. This is so good, y'all. I'm going put some more of that horsey sauce on mine. <laughs> Horsey sauce. But it's good though. Ooh. I had went through the drive through and he told me I was gonna have to wait six minutes for them to cook them fresh because they said the beer batter fish sandwich, they always have to cook them fresh. So I was like, cool, I'll, I'll wait six minutes. Okay, I waited. And then they brought it to me and walked away. And I was checking my bag. And I noticed that they didn't give me all my food. Mm -mm -mm. So, I'm looking. <laughs> see if I can see somebody say, hey. And it, you can't go in the inside of there. Drive through only. And so, I'm like, what do I do? The drive through them wrapped around the building. I'm like, I do not want my food to get cold going back through that long drive-through. So, I got a little ghetto. What you do? She ain't told me yes. I don't know what she did. I got, <laughs> I parked in the handicapped spot, jumped out with the door open, and beat on the door. Beat on the um, glass door. They couldn't hear me, so I had beat. <laughs> and then when somebody finally looked, I was like, he was like, like, you don't you see? I don't know if he didn't see me in the drive through or what. Don't you see that sign drive through only? I said, come here. <laughs> <laughs> so he came to the door. I said, I done paid almost $30 for my food because I got the kids something too. And I ain't got all my food. And he was like, oh, okay. So I told him what I was missing. He said, okay. He went and got it and brought it back. That was good. That line hadn't got wrapped around that building. Ain't nothing open right now like that. I was not about to sit up there and wait six minutes for a fresh fish sandwich for it to be an average fish sandwich. <laughs> you know, it wasn't going to be fresh no more. By the time I got it home to him, he wasn't going to get to enjoy the freshness. Mm. So I didn't think that would be fair. And my kid's sandwich wouldn't have been fair either. It would have been cold. Did you eat your food up? You ate your fries up too? Good job. Mommy, I'm just a sandwich. Okay, good. That's real good. Let me finish this right here. Yeah, stuck to my neck. Let me bite. I'm trying to reach for some fries, y'all. Not fries, but some napkins. <laughs> I don't know where the napkins went. Oh, we had the front. Hold on. Because oh. I was trying to reach for them. Here, have one. Blasting music, y'all. And a Corolla. And a Corolla. Now that'll get you copyrighted so quick. <laughs> when somebody, while you're doing a um, video, somebody ride by you. Blasting music. Yeah, y'all, my sandwich falling apart a little bit. But look at that fish. How'd I let y'all see it? Yeah, yeah, we tan this fish sandwich up. I do like the Alaskan cod better though. When they fry it regular, it be crispy. Mine coming apart. 
Yeah, mine is too. So I like it better than beer batter. I don't know if it's the beer in it or what. <laughs> but the skin ain't the same. I like that crispy skin. Mm -hmm. It's more like a just a layer. I don't know if that makes sense. Do that make sense? This this is like a like smooth layer. I like the crispy the way it be crunchy and crinkles in it. <laughs> crinkles in it. Speaking of copyright, without getting too much detail to the situation, because I don't know all the details of it, but guess what? So Nicki Minaj did a um, a song. She made a song that didn't clear the album. So it didn't go on her album, but it came out on YouTube and other, I mean, I think man just YouTube, but the song isn't monetized. So ain't no money off from it. Well, the sample that she used, the person who owns that sample is now suing Nicki Minaj. So Nicki Minaj camp is saying, how can you sue me? I ain't making no money off from it. It's not monetized. <laughs> nothing plus nothing is nothing. <laughs> so the other side of it, they think they got a case. This is history in the making right here. Oh, <laughs> uh, if Nicki Minaj loses this case, it would change rap forever. When you can start suing artists for a song that's not even monetized, for a song they're not even making money off from. That's Cause in hip hop is nothing but sampling, but people just put out song just to put it out. Mm -hmm. Or whatever, to just keep a buzz. Yeah, but they ain't making no money off from it. So it's gonna be interesting. Yes, it is. So if you're in the music, pay pay real close attention to that case right there. Yeah, you want to see what happens with that? Yeah, I'm hurt. Found out Tim, uh. my sweetie pies, got his nephew killed. And I love that show. You remember? When he was on third shift and I was pregnant. <laughs> she fucking sweets. <laughs> I used to watch all the TV. All, and if a show had something to do with some sweets. I was like, just just show me them greens. Show me the, <laughs> the pies. Show, show me something. I, I think it said sweetie pies. That what got me. Sweetie pies. So I just was like, okay, pie. And so I always associated that show with pies. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm like, I'm ready for the show. So, I was in love with the show. I was like, I love them. They're awesome. I mean, you know, I, I didn't love them like, oh, I love you. Not like that. It was, I love y'all. You know, so, I love watching it and all that stuff. It hurt my feelings when a nephew got killed because I was watching him on there. He had left and came to stay with them because he had been getting in a little trouble. And so I'm like, yes, he got he moved from a bad situation to a better situation. Thought was it. We thought was a better situation. So I was like, okay, he might do good. He on that he acted like a little player. <laughs> you know, you know how young people do. Act like a little player, a little what's up? You know. <laughs> Tried to highlight one of the workers on the show. She was like, no, you is too young. <laughs> and so, yeah, and so I, I seen him on that show as like a little brother or something. Mm -hmm. They're just, just, just a lover boy. <laughs> and that's, that was how I perceived him. And Cliff Note, that's uh, the title of Drake's new album coming soon, eventually, I think, Certified Lover Boy. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> well, yeah, that's how I seen him on there. I knew he loved his grandma. I could tell he loved Miss Robbie. I could tell Miss Robbie loved him. And so for me to see that his uncle had did that to him, got him killed, that, that hurt me. I was like, I hope not. But so they got all the evidence. What they saying it. 
I read the evidence. It looked like he did it. It's what it's looking like. He is due pro uh due process, innocent to proven guilty. But the evidence. It's saying a lot. It's saying a lot. I haven't been hearing rumors that he had a a life insurance policy out on his mama. Mr. Roberts for what? hundred million. Either a hundred or one million. Don't quote me. Look it up. Either one million dollars on his mama or a hundred million dollars on his mama. So if he knocked off his nephew for that life insurance policy for four hundred fifty, she was she was about to be gone too. Quick. Mm -mm -mm. I just hate that. Yes. I just hate that because I mean, like I said, I really like them. We tried to go there, but it was closed when we was, where was we at? We was uh, in California. California. We was in California. And we put in the GPS, got there, and it was closed. It was closed. It was like, man. We was like, man. We were looking forward to it. Yeah, going to Sweetie Pie's, but it would have been Tim's. Yeah. Cause hers is New Orleans, right? Yeah, hers, yeah New, Orleans, New Orleans. Louisiana somewhere. Okay. I'm not sure if it's New Orleans, but I know it's in Louisiana. Okay. We've never been to Louisiana to just stay there. <laughs> so, but yeah, we went to the one in California, which was Tim's from the show. He had opened up one in California, but Miss Robbie had sued him mm. for using her name. She sued him for using her name. She was like, you can't use my name. And so he was she mad. She talking about that on the show. Hey, she didn't want that. Yeah, she was like, I don't want you using my name because... I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what there. you're doing. And so she said, I work hard for my name. And so mm. he didn't like that. He said he was mad, he was hurt, and all that stuff. But you know how... you just thinking, okay, that's just TV. Maybe they want to stretch it a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they want to stretch it a little bit to make it more interesting. Add a little spice to Add it. Add a little spice, a little razzle-dazzle to make me say, you know, she sold him. You know, that kind of stuff. Her own son? <laughs> wow. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's what they do on a lot of these reality shows. They just... Yeah, they spice it up. They spice it up. Put a little spice on it. And so, but now I'm saying... They, they ain't spice it too much. They weren't far fetched. But yeah, she. Yeah, she had. What she played? For Tina Turner. She was one of uh, Tina Turner backups. Well, I never knew. It was what Tina she did. Turner. I think it was Tina Turner. Backup for Tina Turner. That's what's up. Mm hmm. Oh, Tina. Mm hmm. The angel. <laughs> the yeah. angel. <laughs> He a trip, y'all. Yeah. yeah, but I'm interested in seeing what happens with this. <sighs> I know I hate it. Yeah. This that's crazy. Because it's, this is tearing their family apart. And that whole family, if you if you know about that family, they ain't nothing but murder. Then say her oh, uh, uncle been killed. They got like His four or five. Tim, daddy got killed. Tim, brother got killed. All of them got yeah, killed in around the same in, neighborhood. Like the same street. Just yeah, about. or two streets apart. Yes. I mean, it's, it's like. Because we had watched the episode where she's going by the areas that each family member has been killed at. And she was just depressed the whole time. She was like, I don't know if I want to keep doing this. Yeah, that's, that's terrible. Mm hmm. Mm. So you like. And then. Like I said, it hurt me when I thought about him wanting to knock his mama off. But if he knocked his nephew off, and him and his mama falling out. <laughs> so he said he was going to knock his mama off. That, I mean, that's what was through the grapevine. Yeah, yeah I know. How sometimes you see through stuff. Through the grapevine. You, still, you know, you see stuff, some stuff through the grapevine. It might not be true. It might be. But if it is true, I can see it. I can see it, I can man. see it happening. I mean, can't put nothing past him. Mm -mm. Now, now, do you know where he went to jail for? When he went to jail the first time? I don't know, but he went to jail when he was 17. I do know that. So. Oh, man. It just depends. I hate it for him. I do. I hate it for their whole family. It, it's got to be hurtful. Especially for Miss Robbie. Because you like... 
It's your child. And then it's your grandchild who your son was killed. So that's his legacy that was killed by your legacy. And all of it come from you. So I could, she probably just don't know what to say or nothing. I just, the only thing you do is pray for her. Did she have some kind of peace? Because I can only imagine being a parent. We we being a parent. Or, yes. We are, we are parents. Being parents, we feel stuff like, golly. You know, when stuff happens, you can re, not relate, but you can only imagine how they feel because you like, how would I, how would I feel? So you have a heart for, for people and kids. Yeah. Terrible situation. Terrible situation. Let me get off of that and talk about them fries. Them fries was good. <laughs> Tweezy full. Which he should be. Y'all, he cut up today. He ate four vegan cupcakes from Publix. Was they good? Was they worth it? It was okay. Was it worth eating four of them? No, I shouldn't have done that. But it was good. They look like they was good. I'm going to have to run a little bit extra tomorrow. They look like they was good. They was vanilla. They had some chocolate ones and they had some vanilla ones. And if you ever want to try the vegan cupcakes that we're talking about from Publix, they are by the ice cream cakes in the um. Which I don't know bakery. how often they make them. Uh, this is my first time coming across them and I check Publix every time I go in there. Yeah, he do be checking. So... Because it is easier for us to get vegan stuff from Publix than it is to go to Whole Foods. Whole Foods is nice and everything, but it's, it takes a longer drive to get there. Publix. Mm -hmm. Right down the street. Right down the street. 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 K-R-E-E-T. Street. -E -E <laughs> they right there. So, yeah. When we do find good, good vegan stuff, we like it. Like, again... I'm, I'm, we're going to say this, but we'll say it again. He don't just eat any vegan stuff. He likes to get the vegan stuff that don't have that much sugar. And that don't have a whole lot of different chemicals in it. So it's harder to feed him. Because some people will be like, hey, just tell him to try this vegan stuff. Tell him to eat the vegan that. Tell him to and I'm like, that sounds so good. But when he finished reading the back of that and see it got... Something. 15 different things in 15, it to make it that. Different extracts and starches and <laughs> words that I don't know. Listen, uh, I cannot remember his name. He said, if you can't pronounce the word, <laughs> you probably don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> and so it, it, it makes it, this is, this is him. This is his life. This is what he want to do. This is the type of plant-based that he's going for stuff that doesn't have a whole lot and even, of stuff in it. And even with before that, even with the meats and stuff, he read the I was really like, like with chicken. She brought up chicken, 100% chicken, whatever. I just pick up, pass the chicken. I see, I, I read it and say, made with ribs. No, not getting this. I want chicken breast. I, if it's a chicken breast, I want a chicken breast. If it's I don't a chicken want it to leg, be ribs. I want a chicken leg. I don't want no chicken leg that was made from the Chicken rib. <laughs> I, yeah, I get what he's saying. How big is the rib rib on the chicken? I don't know. I mean, they are, they got big chest. They do got big chest, but I don't want that <laughs> when I was eating chicken. <laughs> but yeah, that, he's always been like that. He always read McDonald's. Why I never ate McDonald's? Just think about this. They put out a burger. Mm -hmm. This particular burger is a hundred percent beef. So what were the burgers before? Yeah. But that's another discussion. It is another discussion because I will not dust to a quarter pounder and that happens to be the one that's 100% beef. <laughs> yes, it is 100% now. Now back, in, uh, uh, now, back in the day, before I stopped eating McDonald's, which was like, 17, I was like 17, 16 years old when I stopped eating McDonald's because I had did a project and the burger basically didn't get old. I let it sit out. But before that, Quarter pounder was the go to. Quarter pounder was the go. -to. Quarter pounder with cheese and some fries. And, and that pickles and that ketchup and Ooh, mustard. And, and a McFlurry, so Oreo McFlurry. And, and salty fries. Ooh, mm. they were so good. Mm. Or, or 
like I said, get the apple pies with the um cup of ice cream. Ice cream. You open that uh, apple pie up and eat it with that cup of ice cream. It's so good. And they did have it temporarily. It was apple pie a la mode. So they did the same thing I did, except for they opened the apple pie up, put the ice cream, and then put some caramel. That's the same thing I was doing. Same thing. So they <laughs> added a little caramel sauce. <laughs> and guess what? I still ordered it because it was good. It was good. Well, y'all, we ain't gonna hold y'all up no longer. We hope y'all enjoyed our video. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to be notified when we upload our newest videos. Peace out.